Hi friends! Today I'm going to share a super fun technique that is really popular right now. It's called the torn window or torn paper technique. This is a technique that has been around for years and it's fun to see it coming back and it's a technique I had long forgotten about. Earlier this month I had my regular monthly Serene Stampers team gathering and during our Zoom call I had our show and share portion and demonstrators in my group shared cards that they had been making. One of the gals had a card using this technique and I just loved it and it's so fun to play with these, these techniques again. So today I'm going to show you some cards using this technique and I hope you enjoy it. Let's start stamping. The paper that I'm going to be using on today's card is new. It's new designer series paper and it's free during celebration. Our new celebration promotion starts tomorrow, July 1st, 2022. And this is called the Rings of Love 12 by 12 designer series paper. So you get 12 sheets to each of six double sided designs. And it also coordinates with our new Ringed of Nature bundle that's in our new mini catalog that also starts tomorrow so let me show you this beautiful paper look at that oh my goodness let me just show you oh look at those colors i love that water paint look so so nice and then we have the beautiful birds look at that I actually used this designer series paper on a torn window graduation card that I made for our nephew this past weekend. So I have pictures of that card, which I'll share. This is so pretty. In fact, I think I'm gonna use this one for, for this card today. So we'll pull that aside. Let me show you the back side of that. Be still my heart. Can I just say, be still my heart. This is so me. I just love that. And look at how sweet and then there's a die in the stamps and die collection the uh, ringed with nature bundle there is a die that cuts these out how fun is that that'd be beautiful for Christmas and then the trees and that's it hard to pick a design but I'm just going to jump right on in. Okay, I am starting with a piece of basic white and this measures five and a quarter by four. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tear two lines along the center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tear towards me. Whenever you tear your cards off, you always wanna tear towards yourself because then you get that really pretty edge. And how long down you wanna go is up to you. And I'm doing the same thing on this side. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to stamp my sentiment before I do the rolling. And I am pulling in the Honey Bee Home because I wanna stamp such happy news because this card is actually for um, our niece and her partner because they have just purchased their first home. So this card is for Sarah and Patrick and I am going to pull out my stamp. So one of the colors in this paper is Night of Navy. So that's what I'm going to use to stamp the sentiment. And I'm going to stamp it right over here. I'm kind of centering it where my tear line is. And now I'm just taking a paintbrush and I'm just actually, we don't need all of this excess paper too. So I'm just gonna tear some of that off. And I'm just gonna roll this up. So all I'm gonna do is just take my paintbrush. And then I'm gonna take a glue dot Pick up a glue dot. I'm gonna put my glue dot right there. Let me zoom in for you. Just gonna roll this right onto the glue dot. Okay. If you want, you can add another glue dot. You could use liquid glue. You could use our tape adhesive. And that's all you need to do for that. 
Now I want to position this and figure out where and how I want this to look on my card. Let me zoom out again for you. Lots of fun houses to choose from. Um, I really like that little house there with the trees. So I'm going to take a pencil and I'm just going to draw a line lightly down here on the end. And I'm just going to lightly go along here just because I really want to get that center to how I have it or how I want it on my card, I should say. So I'm just going to go past that pencil line just a bit because we don't need a lot of designer series paper and then let's cut that over here now I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer and that line right here is where I'm going to cut down just like that I'm going to take my eraser and just remove those lines so depending on the pattern of the designer series paper, you don't have to be so precise. And I'll show you some other samples in a minute. But I did want that to be just like that. Oh my gosh, isn't that adorable? Ugh. Okay, so now I'm going to take my liquid glue. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue along these lines. And... I'm going to line this up just like so. Oh, I got into my favorite paper. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. There's lots more where that came from and I know where I can order more, right? Isn't that just darling? Okay, I am going to adhere this to a soft suede card base. idea I'm gonna cut out one of these little birds and glue that onto my card we'll see how it looks first but it's just an idea and I think it'll be really really cute so I am just gonna fussy cut this near my little bird so beautiful look at those colors my goodness I think that looks actually kind of cute so I'm gonna go ahead and add that bird and I might pop that bird up on a dimensional hmm no I think I'm gonna glue it down And there's a little bit of brown right here, which is actually a tree trunk, but it, it kind of looks like the branch is fearing off of that, that the bird is perched on. So that kind of worked out really good. And for the inside, I used another pattern from that same uh, Rings of Love designer series paper. So I used the reverse pattern of this and put that down because I wanted to pull some color into the card. And I thought my camera was on when I was filming, but it wasn't. So for the inside of the card, I'm going to use the uh, Charming Sentiments bundle. So with this bundle, you get the stamps and the dies, and all of the dies cut out all the sentiments, which is super cool. So I am going to stamp just the congratulations. And I have a scrap piece of basic white, and I'm going to stamp that in with my Knight of Navy. Oh, I got a smudge, so we're gonna flip it over. I think I got fur on my stamp. So, do that again. There we go. So I'm bringing in the dies that coordinate. Now this bundle is, um, to celebrate the million dollar achievement of my sweet friend Lisa Curcio so that is really really awesome and look at so many dies there's even little stars and hearts and candles like this is such a versatile stamp set 
So I'm going to bring in my little mini uh, stamp and cut and emboss machine, which is all I have room for on my desk right now. <laughs> my entire uh, stamp room slash office right now is such a chaotic situation because we have ripped out all the cabinets from our kitchen. We don't even have a sink in our kitchen right now so my canisters and boxes of food like tea and oatmeal and oh my gosh it's all overflowed into my stamp room our hallway is loaded with boxes so we got our new flooring down and we are about to start getting the cupboards um built and into our our kitchen but uh, it has been interesting. Thank goodness for the Instant Pot and the barbecue is all I can say. Um, but it's really, really hard to function in my room right now. I cannot wait to get everything put back to normal. All right, let's stick this on. I'm just going to glue this on. There's the completed card. I absolutely love the simplicity of this. I love how the designer series paper does all the work even for the little bird I want that brown to show a little bit the inside and i stamped the back using the um the limited edition stamp set which i've shown this in previous videos i really have been using this on all of my cards so i stamped handcrafted from the heart using the knight of navy onto the back of this card So you just know I have to make another one because I am just having way too much fun. Now this um, basic white card base measures 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. And I'm going to tear again, just like I did on the first one, tearing towards the center. And you can see the pattern of, design, um, the, pattern of the designer series paper I've chosen for this card. It's from the same... Um, designer series paper pack I used on the last card. I'm just going to go ahead and tear this bit off now. This is the stamp set I'm going to be using on the next card. It is adorable. It is free with a $60 order Canadian before tax and shipping during our celebration promotion. It is so much fun to play with and it comes with coordinating dies. Super cool and you can earn these for free too with your celebration orders. All right, so I'm gonna stamp this little cutie with my black memento ink pad. And I'm gonna use my light and dark crumb cake stamp and blend markers for this. And I'm also pulling in the ivory. So I'm gonna start with the ivory. And color in this bit I'm not worried about going over that flower you'll see why in a second and the hippo's little belly and now I'm gonna take my light crumb cake and color the rest of them I'm gonna pull in the dark I'm going to go in with my light crumb cake and just work that in a little bit. Just going along where I use the dark and then I'm going to use my color lifter on top of that. You need to have little cheeks on this little cutie. So I'm going to use the SU-700 and again using the fine tip I'm just going to put a cheek here and cheek over here and 
Let's make those a little bit bigger. I'm going to work those in. So if you're like, oh my lord, you just ruined it. Fret not, my friends. Fret not. The magic color lifter works it right in. And now it's nice and soft and stinking cute. All right. I love our new um, parakeet party green. So that's what I'm going to use for the leaf. This is the light. In case you were wondering. And do you know what I'm going to do now, guys? I'm going to cut this out with the coordinating dies. Look at this little umbrellas, little sunglasses, flowers, the waves, hearts, little boat. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have so much fun with the stamp set. So So one of the colors in here is Poppy Parade. So that's what I'm going to use to stamp my image in. And I have inky fingers and I have ink right here where I do not want ink. So that is where my sentiment is going to go just to try to cover that up. And it's, you know, it's not straight, but you know, straight can be overrated. So what we're going to do now is... We're going to put a little bit of glue right along the edge. Not this edge because that's going to be where the opening is, right? Something I want to do that I did on the grad card that I'm going to show you is I'm going to take a Stampin' Dimensional. And I'm just going to put them behind here. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this foot. And I'm actually going to trim this a little bit off. And what I'm going to do, and this is a little bit of an afterthought here, is I'm going to push this little foot forward, tuck this foot behind, So it looks like my little guy is coming from behind the flower patch there. So there's a little tiny flower here and I'm going to cut it out and make my little hippo hold this flower. To finish it, I've cut a uh, five and a half by one and three quarters strip of the same designer series paper, but I'm using the opposite side of it. And I'm just gonna put that down along the bottom. Kind of looks like a little fence, but I just wanted to pull more color into the card. Okay, so I'm just bringing in a scrap piece of uh, Poppy Parade cardstock. I'm gonna cut out some hearts. Add some hearts to the front. And then I'm pulling the charming sentiments back in and I am going to stamp um, Beyond Grateful. And this time I'm gonna stamp with Pool Party, um, which is this color right here. Coming back to the same paper because it's so nice to stamp and not do all this 
work that I've been so busy with, I'm just, I can't stop stamping. Uh, so I'm just going to keep the camera going. So I am cutting this down now at four and a quarter by five and a half because I just, I just have all these ideas. So this is the same paper, but we're using this one now. And for this one, I'm going to pull it, or sorry, tear it towards me like I did the first card and make it a little bit wider. Okay. And again, roll it up. I'm not going to worry about taking off any excess because it's a thinner, um, it's thinner than cardstock, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and just roll it up from the edge. I'm going to put this down and grab my pencil and kind of draw a line. I'm getting pencil more on my designer series paper than I am the card base, but I can erase that. So I'm going to stamp on this portion and you guys, I can't even tell you, I can't even tell you how excited I am to show you this stamp set. <gasps> Christmas! Look at those reindeer, regal reindeer, and there are dies that coordinate. This is also starting July 1st with our mini catalog coming out. Look at that. There's a fox, there's trees, there's, um, this is for a little bunny rabbit, little bunny rabbit right there. Um, there's the little, halters for lack of a better word that go on the reindeer the little scarves little christmas light bulbs oh my goodness they thought of everything they thought of everything little stars oh and your snow drifts yeah my gosh all right so what am i doing i'm not really sure i'm going to just play i'm pulling in my daffodil yellow and I'm going to make a sky, I think. <laughs> we shall see. This is real time. Tina playing in her craft room, playing hooky from all her work. Um, let's see now. Let's grab, let's, let's grab some of that pool party. I'm actually just going to use the same blending brush. And I desperately need to replace this ink pad. Um, I'm going to go down here with my pool party. Okay. And then I'm going to pull in, let's pull in some Pacific Point. I like to go off my paper a little bit just so it's not too intense on here. We'll go right past that pencil line. And I'll pull in some rich razzleberry. I'm gonna go between the blue and the yellow line. I lost my Pacific Point, didn't I? No, it's behind there. And what else now? I think I need a little bit of uh, um, orange, which um, we'll use Calypso Coral, just because I want to have a little bit of that sun. I'm going to use a different brush. But I can't find a different brush. Oh, here we go. This is clean, it's just stained. I'm just gonna add a little bit of orange to blend in that sky. It's kind of like not super wintry. It's kind of like 
going for a sunset, I guess. Who knows? It's my little fantasy land going on here. Let's pull that Pacific point back in, shall we? Try to get some more blue back in there. And there's rich razzleberry on this, so who knows what color that's going to be. Let's just make that a little bit darker. You can see my pencil line is right around here. Ah, uh, there we go. That's what we're talking about. See, that is why I tend to go off on my scrap paper first. So I don't get big blobs like that. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to just stamp my trees right here. I'm going to stamp that with black memento. And because I still have my light and dark um, crumb cake, stamp and blends and ivory, I'm just going to use the same colors. I'm going to pull in my pool party and my blender pen. And I'm just going to color this in. And I'm using my blender pen versus the marker because I get a softer look when I use a blender pen. Bring in the uh, Poppy Parade. Bring in my soft suede with my blender pen for the antlers. taking my light old olive and I'm just going to color in these trees. Now I'm taking my dark old olive and just using the fine tip I'm just kind of scrolling down like so Turn it around. So if I put that down there like so Stamp my Merry Christmas and I'm trying to see this with the camera my way here. Right there. And I'm gonna emboss that with white. Now I'm just taking some of my silver twine. I'm just gonna thread it up through this rolled designer series paper and hope it comes out the other side. There we go. And I'm just going to tie a knot. I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm just going to roll that glue dot up a bit. Put that right in the center. So that that can kind of hold this in place as I tie a knot. So see, I'm just pushing that right down into the center. Tie a knot. And by the way, those of you who have seen my last video, I'm so glad you liked my little ribbon technique. Sorry, I haven't had a chance to reply to your comments, but it made my heart happy to know that you guys like that. So that's just going to add a little something, something. So let's get my glue out again. So that looks pretty just like that, but we do need the deer. We need the reindeer. So I'm just going to bend them a little bit. Give them a little bit of non-flatness it's my technical term for that and I'm gonna put a glue dot down here 
so it's not all dimensionalized. Okay. So I just remembered in my pre-order, I got these new pearlized enamel effects basics that are in the holiday mini catalog and to pull in the silver that I just added I'm going to make the bells silver so all I'm going to do is squeeze this on the bells and then let them dry oh that's pretty fun that is pretty fun I need to do more of that. I'm going to pull in the red and turn this Knight of Navy crystal or Christmas ball into a 3D ornament. Add a little bit of glitter. So we got the silver, we've got the red, real red, and then the white. So, I mean, the white, of course, we could add some snow. I don't want to make this look too much, mind you, but maybe we'll just do a little bit. Very, very tiny. I love how this turned out, considering I didn't know what my design was going to be. I just had an idea and I wanted to just play. So I hope you enjoyed watching the process. Um, you know, I just thought I'd keep that camera running and I'm going to let that dry and then I'll just stamp my sentiment on the inside. And there's my first Christmas card for 2022 using that torn paper uh, technique. Just adds such a fun, um, a fun dimension to our card making. So can you believe that these are all from the same Dishonor series paper package and uh, we have Christmas, we have birthday, we have um, a thank you card, a new house card, all using the same technique too. So I may have gotten a little carried away today. I was just having way too much fun, could not stop stamping, and had no idea what today's cards were going to turn out like, but I am really, really pleased with them. I totally love this card, and I think this is adorable, and um, these are going to be just great to give away to my friends and family, and my first Christmas card for 2022. Just love this this uh, this designer series paper. I love this technique. I love the new products from Stampin' Up. I love that we get to earn a lot of these products for free. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. And uh, links for um, my online store will be listed in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Take care and happy stamping. Mm -hmm.